Now also another important thing is to understand the packages that we should be using for structural equation model. Okay. So here this package is required psych, which is for psychometric analysis. Normally for factor analysis, you will need this. And then there is another one called GPA rotation for exploratory factor analysis, you will need it. Then Lavan, we'll be using this Lavan package for a structural equation modeling. Okay, so that's the main package here. And then we also have SEMplot, which is to visualize the structural equation model in R. And then we have the MVN package, which is for multivariate normality check. And we will be also using sometimes SEM tools, which is for invariance measurement invariance check. Okay, so all these packages should be installed and loaded. You have to install it only one time, but every day if you close R and start the R window again, you have to load them before starting your analysis. So to load, you can use the command library. So if I just click here, you see I'm running each of the command and I'm getting the packages loaded. Okay. When it's uh, red and you see the stop, that means it's working. So here you see some red text, but there are no errors. They are just giving you some detailed information. Okay. So there are no, these are no major errors. If you have an error, have a look on the error. Sometimes one package is dependent on some other packages and those packages could not be installed. So that's why maybe you will get some error. So yeah, and then this one too. So that's just running this, you load all of them. But how do you install them? So if you are a first timer, before doing so, you should install the packages. To do so, you should come here in packages and you can click install. So let's say we, we want to install the psych package. So you write psych, okay, and here, and then you write install. Then you will have this psych package installed. But I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And sometimes maybe you want to install all the packages at once. Okay, for that, you will have the command install packages, okay. And then you can add all of them. Y, CH, then comma, then you can add here. Just remember that R is actually case sensitive. So you have to put in exactly on the same case. Okay. Like that. So so here I'm actually running, adding this command here. So that if you are new and if you're following my script, you can actually just run this and then it should be there some plot and one more some tools okay so now you can just run this one and it will get all of them installed even in the latest version of the r actually if you don't have the packages installed and if you have the packages Sorry, and if you have the packages in, in with these commands library and then you have the package names, then actually you will see as soon as you will open the script, you will see some kind of uh, notification here on the top. It will say that if you want to install the packages that are in your script and then you can just click install all, then it will install all of them. Okay. So if you can just click, if you just run this, if you want to do it like this manually, so you can just run this and then here you have to do this installing, but I don't want to do that. So I'll just cancel it. So this is how actually you can install all the packages. Just to inform you, if you want to update any package, you can click here on update. And then you can actually see all the packages that you have there. Those are installed here. Okay. So for instance here, you know, we will be using Lavan for a structural equation modeling. So this Lavan is not here. That means there are no recent updates. I am using the latest version of Lavan. Okay. For instance, if I want to, let's say, update my Shiny. So I'll just click this and I'll say, okay, install updates. So I maybe don't want to do it or maybe want to do it. 
but yeah let's say I do it so you get the idea how to load the packages you don't need shiny for you don't need shiny for the structural equation modeling it's just I am load updating it okay so I hope you find this useful so in this video just following the instruction I have given make sure you have the data on the right uh, you have you have the right part of the data here when you are identifying the data okay make sure that you load it correctly okay look into the number of observation and look into the number of variable make sure you have them right and make sure you have at least these packages installed and loaded before proceeding with the further analysis because all the other codes are dependent on them okay so thank you very much for watching this video and if you find it useful uh, share with your friends and colleagues